Why don't you baby me? Just you look hot this afternoon. You look good. Leave me alone. Just leave me. But what is it? Why are you behaving like this? Have I not done enough for you? What is it? Prince. I mean, it's 12 months now since we've been seeing each other. All you do is come here, have sex with me, and then you leave. I need to know my position in your life. What are you doing with me? Babe, come on. Stop, stop doing this. Why are you talking like this? What are you saying? I just want to know my position. See, don't even baby me. And you see, does your sugar coated tongue? I'm definitely not going to fall for it again. So don't do that with me. It's okay. It's okay. So tell me, what do you want? I need an assurance. Assurance. Take me to your family. Take me to the royal house. Introduce me to your parents. Tell them I'm your wife to be. I am your bride to be. Is that too much to ask? Okay. Okay. Listen. Listen. <sighs> There's a plan going on right now. You know they've already known Amara. I am tired of her. I am looking for an opportunity to get rid of her. My ordeal with Senator's son gave me the opportunity to do what I want to do. Okay? You can't imagine me getting married to a low life. Come on, I can do that. I, 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 I am going to get rid of her, but I was looking for an opportunity and I, I believe she will see the handwriting on the wall and leave by herself. After that, I will bring you in officially. So when is that going to be? Believe me, I know the game I'm playing with her. Okay? she would definitely come to that point of conclusion that I do not want her again. And she will leave by herself. When? The very soon, I mean, soonest Amara will be a forgotten issue. Okay. I'm not trying to overreact or something. I'm just trying to be careful here because if eventually you break my heart, I'm definitely not going to find this very funny. Okay, baby, I mean, you're just, you've just insulted me. How do you expect me, the prince, with my status, my personality, to marry a low life? How? Oh, come on. Stop saying that. It's okay. Good. I want to get something. Yeah. Oh my god. So, the prince is finally ending up with that new life after all the strength. I will explain. Explain what? Huh? Go ahead. I'm listening to you. Okay. You see, I just got to discover that my rival, the senator's son, is coming after her again. Yes. And everyone in the village knows that Amara is for me. So I cannot let him take her away from me. Amara is for me. If I let that happen, they will know that he has won me again. I will never let that happen. As long as he's the one involved in this whole thing, I will never let him take her away from me. It will not happen. Oh, this is resolved. This same girl insulted. What did you call her? Local village girl. This is the same girl that you want to get married to. I mean, I can't put that together. I just want to prove a point. Prove a point to who? What stupid point are you trying to prove? And to who? I know you're very intelligent. You must do everything I just said. I do not understand anything. 
I'm sure you're meeting with the ladies and Listen, my dear. I am a prince. Everybody in the village knows that. I have a name and a pride to protect. I don't want people to see that I'm a complete weakling. And you took the senator's son cannot paint me the same picture he painted me in the past. It will not happen. You said you never did. Yes, I never did. And I still don't. But people will not understand it that way. Yes, they will say that he has come back to win me the same way he used to win me. I would never allow that to happen. I will not accept that. Oh. Prince, this was not our agreement. Oh. oh. Okay, I get it. Now you have succeeded in using me and you have dumped me. I but never... you know what? It will never happen. I never used you and dumped you. I never did that. I know you are very exposed, you are very enlightened, you are very intelligent and educated. Why are you talking like this? We had a relationship that didn't work out. Oh, this is exactly what you have done. You have used me and you just dumped me. But you know what? It is not going to happen. So listen to me. I have accorded you enough respect. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, this meeting is over, so is this relationship. No, you will not walk out on me. Prince! Prince! You will not walk out on me. Whose result is this? Of course, you can read. I am six weeks pregnant for you. I will send some money to your account once I get to the palace. So you get rid of that thing. no way the prince will not get married to me. He must marry me. He must marry me. Obaka. Father. You heard everything she said. Is it true? It is true, Igor. Very true. I want him to speak for himself. Obaka, is it true? It's true. Uh, my doctor, all is well, okay? Um, you have to go over. Right. Your father is a well known person to me, but he is my bosom friend, okay? I'll call you at the right time. Thank you so much. Okay. It's nice to see you. Too. It's a pleasure. a pleasure. See you very soon. Thank you very much. Tie me down. Do you get that? 
Okay, stop that. Obaka! Let her be! And royalty, government in and the world, government in and the world. This is power to show. Nothing more. He got a book of my you cannot kill me! Yeah, boom, Amarachi! Eh? Now you're crying. You had all the chance to walk out of that relationship honorably. But Umba, you chose to be stupid. Then all you were saying. Eh? If it were if it were to be another person. I would have uh, considered uh, not the baby senator's son. As an abundant amount of honor, it will see in the solia. Blah, 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 blah. On Ganada, you like Ganada, you did not listen. Now, just three days after your engagement, you have been disgraced out of the relationship. Tell me, what is more shameful? Amarachi. What is more shameful? Man, I be said a man one minute a week. Let's be inside. Hi! I knew it. And I said it. When you see a man that is in love, you will definitely know. Ubaka never loved you. Just to prove to the people that. Udoka did not take you away from him. He rushed proposing marriage. Now what happened? His intentions are well known. He never wanted to marry you because he loved you. He only wanted to satisfy his useless ego. Hey! That guy is a beast. He is a monster. It shall never be well with him. But how do we start now? How do you go back to Doka? How do we bring back his attention? Oh, yeah, to one more. Hey! Do you think he will still accept her after hearing about the engagement? What is possible? Hey! I'm around. We have to do something. We honestly have to do something. You have to go back to the palace. Yes, just go back to the palace. Obaka has to finish what he started. He cannot leave you like this. He cannot. Go back to the palace and do what? And become my second wife or third? <laughs> eh? Mama, whichever, whatever, let her just go back to the palace. Oh, you're not so bad. Let her go back. God forbid. She can make money for job. My daughter will never be a second wife. Mba no. Amu jili me uku, kamu jili me aka. Mba. Hey. Hey. Amari Bwen. For God's sake, Father, what do we do now? The doctor. He doesn't have a choice. No, Father. I do. No one can trap me down into anything called marriage because of pregnancy. No one can do that. I have the right to stop any kind of relationship. Father, I have the right. It's my life. My choice. My future. That let you on again. Shut up your mouth. But Father, he's, he's very right. Daughter. He is wrong. Totally wrong. Yes. 
Our tradition for this any royal blood outside this palace or outside marriage is never done. If the girl finally gives birth, calamity will befall this kingdom. People will begin to die in mass. People will die in their numbers and there will be no control until that same lady is married into this palace before such calamity will stop. This is serious. Very serious, my daughter. Very serious. How am I even sure that I'm the one responsible for that pregnancy? That is if she's truly pregnant. That is what you should go for. And not sitting here vomiting nonsense. Serious. I think you need to sit up. You need to go find out whether you are truly responsible for her pregnancy or not. And that has to be very fast. I am coming straight away to our meeting point. And I don't want to wait for you. Do not keep me waiting. I am coming right away. She's pregnant for real. I think the baby is mine. So what becomes of Amara then? I need some time to think. Let's cheers. 
Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Don't rush it, okay? Easy. <laughs> you see, Amara, irrespective of our social status, there is something about us. The very first day I set my eyes on you in the palace crying, a part of me left and went to you. You know, I I wanted I I really wanted to pretend that there is nothing going on in my heart, but the more I pretend, the more it's crystal clear to me that it's undeniable. <laughs> yeah, I know I, I, I know you don't believe it, but you have to believe it. I've fallen in love with you. I'm in love with you, Amara. Yes. I want us to I, I want you to allow this love to be. Okay? I want you to give a chance to this love. Okay? I, I am coming. I am coming, Amara. Okay, I'm still talking. I, I know you'd be surprised that a prince like me would descend so low to marry a commoner like you. Uh, you know, I, I know you'd be surprised, but you see, love sees no bounds of our differences. Okay, love only sees the heart. Okay, that is what I want you to know. I want to ask one question. Okay, go ahead. Um, are you trying to say that you want to marry me, or you just want to be wanna, my my wanna, boyfriend? I want to say you don't just jump into conclusion. Okay, marriage is a long term stuff. Okay, before a man a woman gets into marriage, they have to cut. You know what is cut? courtship okay, okay okay yes they need to know each other they, they, they need to know if they are compatible then get to the next level then start talking about marriage you don't just jump into the stuff and get married immediately oh yes now i understand um i want to say thank you very much Thank you for bringing me to this kind of place and even allowing me to share the same table with you. It's okay. And to discuss such important um, issue, I I I want to say thank you. Thank you for for loving me. I promise I will love you a million a wow. million more. Wow! Yes. <laughs> That's not cookie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, That's I'll, nice. I'll, I'll graduate. I know, I'll cook you <laughs> Come on, drink up, drink up. <laughs> when I talk about me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, easy, 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 easy. Oh, you're not too tiny, boy, He never loved me. He only wanted to have a taste of me. I loved him with my whole heart. I lived my entire life loving the wrong person. Even when I realized that he didn't love me and had a choice of leaving him for a man who truly loves me. I couldn't because of my loyalty to him. I didn't want him to feel bad. I didn't want him to feel insulted. I had to throw away the precious gift of love that was given to me on a platter of gold. Now look at my life. My whole life is crumbling right before me. Even when I thought I had found rest. Even when I thought I had found happiness. That was when the greatest nightmare of all showed up. Can I ever come out of this? God, why? Why me? Father, you sent for me. Yes, sir. I just finished your discussing with the former governor of the state. Right Honorable Mosu. 
the daughter has already explained everything to him, that she is pregnant for you. And I was surprised on the man's reactions. He was very happy that finally we will end up as in-laws. <laughs> but in his opinion, we should hasten up with the marital rights avoid the protruding of the daughter's tummy, avoid people asking questions. I told him we shall come to pay the bride price very soon. And after that, that marriage rights will follow up. So, son, get yourself ready. Start preparing for your wedding and every other thing. You are now a man. <laughs> Mm. Amara! Amara! Yes? Oh, well, yeah, Amara, dear, come. Have you seen this? What is this? Two weeks after his engagement to me. He's getting married to another woman. Has he called you since that incident? I haven't heard a word from him. He, he hasn't even stepped his foot here. I has no regard for him, man. He has no atom of respect for anyone. The only thing he cares about is himself, and that is useless ego. Now I know the reason the senator's son hated him so much and was busy humiliating him. You know what? I honestly wish he was locked up the second time. I wish he was locked up and detained in the state prison. By now, his ego must have disappeared. <laughs> what wrong did I do to Obaka? Ichoma, I was busy running around. Making sure he wasn't arrested the second time. I became an enemy to the senator's son because of him. Because of the love I have for him. He wasn't punished for that heinous crime he committed against the senator's son. What do I get in return? Heartbreak. Betrayal. Hurt. Stop! <laughs> did I do anything wrong? No, no I, I, I just want you to tell me. Maybe, maybe I might have done something wrong that I can't, I, I, I can't remember because I don't know exactly what I did to him. You Why? did not. You did not do anything. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> there is life. Therefore, there is still hope. What's wrong have I done? Away from Mary Wanoma. What crime have I committed? Where is this 
here now. I'm a ratchet. No more so to talk. Mama, please. I am writing this letter to you not to break your heart, but to make it stronger. You may feel that I am being selfish by doing what I am doing now, but God knows that I am doing it for us. This is the best decision I have ever taken in my life so far. Mama, I don't think I can stand the shame and the heartbreak. Living in the same village after everything that has befallen me. Instead of waking up one morning and seeing your daughter dead, it is better I leave so I can stay alive for us. Please take care of my son, your grandson. Don't bother asking where I went to because I don't even know my destination. All I need right now is a change of environment so I can erase the memories of everything that has happened. I believe I will come back someday stronger than I left. Your daughter, with love, Amara. Of Amara. My son. Um, I understand. I understand, Mama. Actually, I saw the invitation card. I was surprised it was no longer Amara. What, what happened? No, it's a long story. It's not something I'll start telling you now. Where is Amara? I want to see her. I don't know. I don't... Mama, what do you mean that you don't know? I woke up one morning. I look for Amara. I did not see Amara. I called out to Amara. Amara did not answer me. Just for me to see a letter on the table. I'm picking the letter. Sim card fell out of it. Since then, I've not heard anything from her. I don't even know where she is. If she's still in this country, I don't know. No phone to contact her. Hey. This is serious. This is serious. She couldn't bear the heartbreak. So serious on her. Yeah? But she would have tried to reach out for me. She knows that I love her so much that I will everly accept her. Oh, you fell. Fell. Fell query. I think this would have been an opportunity for us to, to put things in place. How? Oh. Mama, please, do not worry yourself. Hmm? I will find her. Trust me. 
Diko na. I will find Amara. Diko. Wherever she is. Oh, I will. Mom, Dalo. Chuko go see if you can tell me what to do. Gangwa. 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 Mama. I can't come out. Come on. Oh, oh, as you want me to go to the lounge. Oh, bye bye, oh, Ijama. She did not. Amara did not. The same way you went to her house to look for her was the same way I went there. And her weeping mother gave me the letter to read. <sighs> this is serious. This is serious. She didn't believe in my love. Because if she did, she would have known that I would gladly accept her. She did. But she only felt you would feel bad. Thinking that you are only an alternative resort. And you know, it is the man that goes looking for the woman, not the other way around. Amara, wherever you are under this planet, I must find you. Must. Good afternoon. Oh, oh. oh, God bless you. Bless you too. Hi, the mama. How are you doing today? As you can see. Mm -hmm. Mama, mama, stop, stop crying, Biko. <coughs> mama, Biko, go, go, go. Come and sit down. Best man, eh? <sighs> Mama, yes. Udoka sent some money for your upkeep and that of your grandson. Uh, hey. I told him that the boy was running fever. So he sent this money and said you should not fail to take him to the hospital today. He sent 100,000 naira. God really sent this boy to be my son-in-law. But the wicked ones in this village and the evil spirits, they thwarted the whole thing. Since this one year, this man has been a great help to my family. What would I have done without him? You know I have food. 
I will bring my phone now so that you put his on my side. Let's so that I can call him. Let him be contacting me direct instead of disturbing you. Oh, okay. oh be gone. Well. Come and bring your phone. Okay. Oh. Can I have water? Uh, okay, I get better cold one. Where do you come? Yeah, bottle one, please. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. Amara. Amara, where are you? Amara. Amara, wait. Maybe. I... See, my dear, it's okay now. Whatever that happened is now in the past. You don't need to think about it anymore. And they all happen for a reason. Reason based on to God. And it happened for the rightful honor of your heart to come here. Please. I am here for you and I'm here to take care of you, no matter what. So, don't just feel maybe you are losing, you are not. I'm always there for you because you deserve better. The best of life, that is what you deserve and I'm ready to give you that. So we just calm down. Hmm? Okay. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. I know what you're thinking, but that's okay. Oh, my God. 